And I'm sure you would agree with me that in more recent times, government after government has buggered up our transport system. But with this Liberal National Government, I think they've gone completely haywire. They wreck anything that they touch, whether it's light rail, whether it's our buses, whether it's the metro, whether it's museums, whether it's stadiums, whether it's ports, or whether it's bridges. I think anything Gladys touches turns to shit. Yay! And I think their obsession with toll roads has really reached peak madness. As the toxic tentacles of toll roads spread across Sydney, far and wide, they are really tightening a hold on our hip pocket, on our health, and on our city. When I joined Parliament in 2013, WestConnex was literally just a slot running under Parramatta Road. Now, five years on, the Monster Tunnel and its extensions are going across the harbour, northern beaches, down south as an F6 extension. And as they do this, they are swallowing up Sydney and its surrounds. They're actually swallowing up our homes, our parks, sporting fields, and wetlands. And they're causing more and more congestion, more air pollution, more climate change. And they are making us sick, and they are making our children sick. I think no one can deny that. This addiction to toll roads is also shackling the people of Sydney, and also Western Sydney, into huge financial stress. Because as we keep paying tolls and pay off one of these toll roads, the government just extends toll concessions for decades so that we'll be paying, our children will be paying, and their children will be paying. It is a never-ending, crazy merry-go-round of toll roads. And I guess the irony is that it's not going to improve traffic for us. We pay all these tolls and we will still be stuck in traffic jams. And because of such haphazard planning and on-the-go planning on WestConnex, the Roselle community, all of you, are now fighting this bizarre battle of this unbuildable underground spaghetti junction that actually no construction company wants to build. As an engine, engineer, I can tell you that we are trained to solve problems, but we can't re rectify stupid ridiculous, bad, narrow-minded decisions of this government. And now I know that this government is actually begging infrastructure companies, asking them to sign up to this bizarre interchange. And we know that it's going to probably add hundreds of millions of more dollars to the already 16.8 billion price tag that WestConnex has. And you might remember that the justification for building the M4 East Tunnel was to provide an efficient route to Sydney Airport. But then, suddenly, it was off to Roselle with this massive interchange. And the last time I looked, there was no airport in Roselle. You might know something different, but I don't. The secret deals, the hidden business cases, the billions of dollars of cost blowouts, the wastage of money, and the sham community consultation processes all point to one thing and one thing alone, that the government is trying to hide something. Shame. Absolute shame. Shame, Gladys, shame. But we are on to it. We know that the so-called transport agenda is not at all about improving transport for any of us in Sydney or in New South Wales. It is an aggressive agenda of privatization at all costs, where the people of New South Wales pay through their noses and lose out, and where private corporations and tolling companies, the mates of the Liberal National Government, are the only winners out of this scenario that we are facing at the moment. The, thank you. We know, we know that the whole damn system is rigged, and we will not stand by and allow this government to do it. In fact, I see more and more of us 
So many of you out here today, standing up every single day at events, at rallies, making submissions and making sure that this government has to li listen to us. We will drag them to the decision-making table and make sure that they listen to us or come March 29, we will kick them out. Hey. Because we know what needs to be done. We need to improve and expand our public transport and active transport system, not just in Sydney, but across New South Wales. We want a world-class public transport system, which is affordable, which is accessible, and which is efficient. Because public transport is not just about getting from A to B. It is a basic right. It is an essential service. It is an issue of social justice. We don't want a state run by big business for big business. We want a state run by the people of the state and for the people of the state. And that's why we must keep fighting and we must keep fighting harder. And the Greens will continue to stand with you shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, until we've done this. Thank you very much for standing up. Yeah.